This is strange. One of our servers is being pinged constantly from the Wi-Fi of a particular Star Roger coffee. And why am I supposed to care? Yes, I thought it was noise at first too, but then I decoded the pings. It's Morse code. Three letters repeating over and over. Go on. S. O. Wait for it. S. Let's get moving then. Send me the coordinates. I'm here. What now? There doesn't seem to be any obvious peril, does there? Have a seat and I'll ping back the IP sending us the distress signal. What? A flip phone? Are you fucking me about right now? It's a cryptophone. It's secure. Every device on CTOS can be compromised. If we're overheard, we're dead. Both of us. Who the fuck is this? Not important. What matters is that I have inside information on S-I-R-S, -S, and I believe the people who framed you are rogue officers. And loath as I am to say it, dead sec may be my only hope to stop them. I'll listen, but I'm not promising anything. Good. I hit coordinates to a meeting place on a device in that establishment. Sabine, what do you think of all this, eh? All right, that's a wrinkle. So this SARS bloke says Zero Day are a bunch of Secret Service dickheads. I mean, I suppose it does make sense. The bombings were too sophisticated for randos, but SARS could pull it off. Officially, SIRS, or the Signals Intelligence Response Service, uses surveillance data drawn from CTOS to identify large-scale terrorist and criminal threats. Then they send Albion to shoot the threats in the face, for example. And in the wake of escalating violence in London, the SIRS is extending the right to use lethal force to law enforcement and Albion securities. Unofficially, SIRS uses your data to read your mind and arrest you for having naughty thoughts. So we have means and opportunity, which leaves motive. SARS are fascist pricks, but they're supposed to stop groups like Zero Day from doing terrorist shite. Why cause one? When you meet this guy, ask. We got ourselves into a bit of a pinch. Contact's not here, but signs of a struggle are. SIRS may be onto him. If you get access to the area's surveillance infrastructure, I can rebuild the scene in AR. All right, I'll give it a go. Look here. I'll take that. Oh, yeah? What are you up to here? I ain't seen nothing, Gov. What do you mean? Wait. You don't look... Oh, bollocks. You're undercover, aren't you? Trying to see if I'll talk, eh? Ain't gonna happen. You need to calm down. I ain't seen nothing.
that's done it. Now return to the scene and I'll reconstruct what happened to our contact. CTOSAR, data reconstruction in progress. That appears to be our contact. Fucking hell! Yes, it certainly doesn't look like his best day, does it? Analyze the clues in the AR workspace to find out what happened to him. This is a non-lethal weapon, so odds are he's still alive, though he may not want to be. They've taken our SIRS contact away, but they may still be nearby. I can reconstruct the vehicle's path from unsecured CCTV recordings. That should allow you to follow it. The reconstruction's nearly finished, and so's our contact if you don't hurry. It looks like our contact's assailants stopped here, but I can't see them nearby. Let's analyze the data to see if we can find out where they went. CTOSAR, data reconstruction in progress. Our contact's assailants are switching vehicles to elude pursuers, which is standard operating procedure for private military perks like Albion. Wait, it's Albion, and not Sirs? What can I tell you? They're mercenaries. If you keep looking, you might find out why they're interested in an SRS whistleblower. I've completed a thorough analysis of the vehicle and concluded it is a van. No one likes a clever dick badly. What else? Well, I could also mention that the minute traces of sand in the tire tracks indicate that it's been on a construction site recently. But you know me, hate to sound like a smart ass. I've been scanning nearby construction yards for Albion activity and, long story short, some dozy git has forgotten to turn off the security camera in the makeshift torture room. Show me. Oh. I'm not who you think I am. I swear. Oh. You're Malik, a SERS officer and a leaky fucking twat! Oh. 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 It's not me, I swear to God, please, please! Ah, oh, tits. He's gonna get himself killed, isn't he? Can't have that. Bags, let's have a location then.
somewhere else. Got six. Drone, initiate search protocol. Up in here. Clear. Let's keep looking. Locking that spider. Collectible. Easy. Calm down. I'm dead sick. You rang us. Of course. You shouldn't have come here. 
Now they'll know for sure I've betrayed them. We just saved your ass. No, you've just damned us both. Look, I'll upload the intelligence onto an anonymous FTP. It'll explain everything. Actually, I'd like you to explain everything. My name is Richard Malik. I'm an intelligence analyst. I believe Zero Day are rogue SIRS officers who framed you for the bombings to seize power. Now they're murdering or blackmailing anyone who threatens them, which now somehow includes me. All right. We'll see what Bagley makes of the intel. But don't make me regret this. That I can't promise. Malik has made his way out, and now I suggest you do the same. Laying it on a little thick, wasn't he? But why not check the intel anyway? All right, one second. Bagley, analyze the intelligence to set up a briefing. ASAP. 